I have to come clean about something. Something unforgivable. Something that is so depraved, degenerate, and disgusting, I have to keep saying big words to get over the 8 second mark, so this video will be fully monetized. I, Parasitical, self-admittedly, am a massive simp. You heard it here first. Simp! But why, may you ask? Well, mental illness across the world is definitely on the rise, and one thing the mentally ill like to do is fantasize over fictional characters. And I am no different. I played Atomic Heart the day one release. It came out, I think, at like 11 p.m. GMT, so 11 o'clock my time, and I played through the entire game in one sitting. Keep in mind, it is a semi-open world kind of RPG. It's a 20 to 25 hour game. I beat it at about... 15 hours. I was so sleep deprived it was unreal. Now this was one of the worst mistakes I made in my entire life because I finished the game about 12 in the afternoon the next day. So my sleep pattern was so messed up I am still recovering now. That's why I look extra dead behind the eyes today because I'm still trying to find sleep. When the sleep slowly kicked in I did what any gamer does and I drank Monster Zero Ultra, the femboy drink of choice. And then when that wasn't doing it for me I was doing pure shots of espresso and then that wasn't even doing it for me. My caffeine tolerance peaked, my arms were sweaty, mum's spaghetti, and then I thought to myself, oh shit, I'm not going to be able to finish this stream in one go. But then I was reminded to finish the stream for one reason. I was reminded of two amazing characters that you meet at the start of the game, the twins called Left and Right, these robotic ballerina dancers, and I looked at them at the beginning of the game that you see for like 20 seconds and thought, I'm going to beat this. I'm going to do it for you. Like some of the scenes genuinely like amaze me though. Oh! Yes! Yes! Okay, all right. Forget any criticism I said. It's 10 out of 10. Holy shit, they're tall. Fucking hell, they're tall. Holy, have sex with me now. I made sure to beat the entire game just to see the twins as much as I could, even if it meant beating the game one-handed. Now, I'm sure you've seen the twins because they have put it all over the promotional material. You cannot escape them. I actually put on my Twitter some kind of joke saying how there wasn't a six-hour sex scene, and that got like over 150,000 likes. That is, to this day, the most banging tweet I've ever made in my career. Now, the thing is, there is some very interesting psychology. The reason why everyone, you know, degens and normies and kumas alike can all come together to respect the ballerina twins. And uh, I'm going to explain it to you with my non-existent degree in psychology and also me googling like five results. There's a tweet I found and it really comes to mind here. The robotic dancers of the atomic heart without having a face transmit more femininity and sensuality than any female character on PlayStation. And I hate to admit it, when you've got a faceless character, it is so much easier for you to project your thoughts, feelings, and how you want the character to look like onto that character than if they were, you know, a more generic, conventionally attractive character. Bro, I I'm not even joking with you. Okay, so th there's a game called Returnal, right? It came out on the PS5. Very slept on game. It it's an amazing game. I'm going to do a main channel video on it at some point. One of the best story-driven games I've seen ever or played. That came out onto PC and it was slept on even more. No one cared that it came out. The protagonist of that game was a woman and everyone was saying the woman was a, a hag and old and ugly. I'm not joking you. If you had her as some like young petite woman with like huge voluptuous breasts and a big fat ass, that game would have probably been the second biggest most sold PS5 game past Astro's Playhouse. <laughs> He's so red free about the PS5, bro. He needs to get a new bit. The thing is, I I'm going to try and act like I'm better than everyone else, and, and I'm above that whole Kuma trend. When I bought the game, you get two extra suits in the game. Uh, both of them have opaque visors, so you can't see her face. I did that. I went straight into the storage room, put on the suits so I couldn't see her face anymore. And yes, if you are wondering, I do own a tally body pillow. I think one way to tell the immense love that the ballerina twins have from Atomic Heart is this image that was circulating around of one of them is meant to be holding a key, but instead it's holding a positive pregnancy test and then the other one is just heavily pregnant. The thing is that it's so weird. I've seen so many different opinions on this game. I've seen people saying it's just one of the worst games ever made. The protagonist is incredibly unlikable, spouting... Marvel one-liners unless he wants to talk about communism for 20 minutes. He, he also does this thing where he says crispy critters, like it's some kind of one-liner or some kind of, you know, insult. Crispy critters, like, like the Russian team that were doing the game, they saw it on the back of an American cereal box. And they were like, this is how uh, Americans speak. But then you've got the other side that's saying it's one of the best games ever made. You know, the art style's amazing. The graphics are amazing. The animations are amazing. It's basically a successor to Bioshock. All of that is true, except the last part, that's complete bullshit. It's not a successor to Bioshock. But again, regardless of those two sides, 
everyone can come together and say that they love the robot twins. Now, I do have to be the bearer of bad news. I'm incredibly sorry about this, but the two twin ballerina sisters, left and right, as they're called in the game, they are not in the game for long. They basically did the equivalent of Vars in Far Cry 3, but even worse. In Far Cry 3, Vars was the poster boy. I mean, if you look at Far Cry 3, any art, you'll see Vars there. He wasn't in the game long. He was in it for like, he had about... 15 to 20 minutes of screen time, probably less than that. And he was only the boss for the first half of the game. The second half, you had, you had his boss, Hoyt, who was like way more boring. But in Atomic Heart, they did us even more dirty. They did the equivalent of a 2012 clickbait video with like some woman with like boobs in the thumbnail. Basically, you see the twins at the very beginning of the game. They give you a key. They tell you to like fuck off. That's it. You see them in a cutscene again, like halfway through the game where they're dragging off a body. And I'm, I'm just going to freeze this image here because, oh my God, that bunder. And then you see them again for a third time at the very, very end of the game at a totally optional boss fight. And that goes on for about five minutes. I, I do want to say though, with the boss fight, that took me a lot longer than most gamers because I really took my time taking in the atmosphere, the, the scenery, the, the smell. And also the fact I kept messing up the quick time event intentionally. Okay, am I gonna fight back or am I gonna let it happen? I'm gonna let it happen. I'm not fighting back. I'm not- I'm not fighting back. I, we will let it happen. This is the best ending. This is the- that was the- that was the good ending. Now as well, there is a popular rumor going around with little people lying on the internet saying that the robot twins are actually not robots, but they're humans wearing human faces. And this image or like GIF or WebM keeps being leaked online and posted around of the twins with human faces. I do want to say, bro, I thought that was real. I was about to hard refund the game. Thankfully, it's not. It's like an early dev build where they were using like a, a placeholder model or something. They are robots. They are they are not humans wearing masks. Thank God. Believe me, when that happened, I was I was gripping. I was gripping my Herman Miller chair in absolute fear and dread. Now, I do want to say, as much as people are simping over the ballerina twins, we need to appreciate the fridge. There's a fridge you meet in the game, and she basically upgrades your weapons, your equipment, uh, your special abilities, and... She, she's simping for you, man. Like the robot, the ballerinas, you basically never talk to them throughout the game. This fridge you see at every single encounter and she's got the hearts for you, man. What the fuck? Fuck me. Oh, what a stun. I can't get enough jumps. Let me tie you to the bed, baby. No okay. The, the, the devs, the devs had a technical thing, man. The devs straight up had a technical thing. Dominant men really turn me on. They, they had a technical thing, man. Like that. Ayo, ayo, what? A wooga. I would have sex with the fridge. I do want to say as well, I was looking around online. I'm not sure if this is an official account. It isn't verified, but there's an account on Instagram called Atomic Twinnies, and all they do is post art of the two twins, the ballerina twins. Now, I, I do want to say this, all this art that's posted here is all AI art. Like it's so fucking obvious. It's got that really kind of like uncanny valley to it that, that someone drew it, but then changed it around a lot. Holy shit, tell me. But more the fact as well that like, if you look at some of the art up close, they've got like three arms in some of the shots or like four arms. Uh, you know that way that AI sometimes messes up details. But yeah, I mean, if that was part of the actual official dev, then yeah, That'd be pretty embarrassing. So yeah, that's it. Uh, 21 saying I fell off. I make irrelevant content. I just made a eight minute plus video talking about how much I'm simping for the Atomic Heart Twins. And you know what? I'm going to spend every cent made off this video commissioning more art of them. Cry about it. Oh my god, I wish that was me. Anyways. <laughs>